and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. For Port Group, revenue and net profit up significantly in nine months of 2021. Boosted by a noticeable recovery in holiday travel during the summer season, revenue soared in the third quarter of 2021 by 79.5% to €633.8 million Euros compared to €353.1 million Euros in the same quarter in 2020. Airline passenger traffic recovery leads to strong revenue growth in first nine months of 2021. Demand for holiday travel during the summer months was relatively strong. The result has improved due to financial compensation received for pandemic-related losses incurred at various group airports. The Freeport Global Airport Company achieved a significant increase in revenue and the group result net profit during both the third quarter and the first nine months ended September 30th of the 2021 business year. Factors contributing to this increase included a positive operational performance and several one-off effects. Forecasts for the upcoming winter season are also optimistic. Therefore, Freeport has revised its full-year outlook for revenue and other key financial figures slightly upwards. Traffic development at Frankfurt Airport is forecast to reach the upper area of the expected performance range, between under 20 million to 25 million passengers. Freeport CEO, Dr. Stefan Schulte, explained, following the massive losses experienced in 2020 and the resulting sharp rise in debt, we are now seeing brighter prospects ahead. Demand for holiday travel during the summer months was relatively strong. Moreover, our result has improved due to financial compensation received for pandemic-related losses incurred at various group airports. Now, we are also expecting intercontinental traffic to gradually recover supported by the recent reopening of the U.S. borders. Consequently, we are a bit more optimistic about the winter season than we were just a few months ago. Nevertheless, it is still a long way ahead until we reach pre-pandemic passenger levels again and are able to reduce our debt significantly. Third quarter, revenue and net profit grow strongly. Boosted by a noticeable recovery in holiday travel during the summer season, revenue soared in the third quarter of 2021 by 79.5% to €633.8 million Euros compared to €353.1 million Euros in the same quarter in 2020. Both values have been adjusted for IFRIC 12 related contract revenue from construction and expansion measures at Freeport subsidiaries worldwide. EBITDA rose to €288.6 million Euros in the third quarter, up from minus €250.3 million Euros in Q3 2020. However, this gain also reflects a number of one off effects. In the third quarter of 2020, earnings were negatively impacted by the creation of provisions for personnel reduction measures totaling €279.5 million. Euros. This year, in turn, a positive contribution in the third quarter came from COVID-related compensation to our subsidiaries in the U.S., Slovenia and Greece which boosted the group's other income by some 30 million euros. Adjusting for these one-off effects, Freeport still posted strong EBITDA growth of 785.6% to €258.6 million Euros in the third quarter of 2021, versus €29.2 million Euros in the same period last year. The group result or net profit grew to €102.6 million Euros in Q3 2021, including the aforementioned one-off effects, compared to €305.8 million Euros in Q3 2020. First nine months of 2021, Freeport achieves solid operating result, supported by positive one-off effects. During the first nine months of the current year, group revenue rose by 18.3% year-on-year to nearly 1.4 billion euros, excluding IFRIC 12 effects. Along with passenger growth outside of Frankfurt, revenue was positively impacted by an agreement reached in the first quarter of 2021 between Freeport and the German Federal Police, Bundespolizei, for remuneration of aviation security services provided by Freeport previously. The agreement generated extra revenue of 57.8 million euros. 
Other one-off effects also had a positive impact on the income side. These included compensation from the German and state of Hesse governments granted to Freeport for maintaining Frankfurt Airport's operational readiness during lockdown, as well as pandemic compensation to the group's subsidiaries in Greece, the U.S. and Slovenia which contributed a total of 275.1 million euros to Freeport's other income. Combined with the remuneration payment from the German Federal Police, these non-recurring effects contributed a total of 332.9 million euros to other income, with a corresponding positive effect on the operating result, EBITDA. Thus, EBITDA clearly reached positive territory again, climbing to 623.9 million euros in the reporting period, 9M 2020, minus 227.7 million euros. When adjusting the previous year's 9 ME EBITDA by the negative one-off effect resulting from personnel measures and also adjusting this year's 9 ME EBITDA by the positive one-off effects mentioned above the group EBITDA still increased by 239.2 million euros to 291 million euros in the reporting period, 9M 2020, 51.8 million euros on an adjusted basis. Including the one-off effects, Freeport clearly recorded a positive group EBIT of 292.2 million euros in the first nine months of 2021, 9M, 2020, minus 571 million euros. Group EBT improved to 152.6 million euros, 9M, 2020, minus 716.9 million euros. Freeport achieved a group result, net profit, of 118 million euros in the reporting period, up from minus 537.2 million euros in 9M, 2020. Passenger traffic rebounds noticeably. Frankfurt Airport, FRA, Freeport's home base hub, welcomed a total of about 15.8 million passengers from January to September 2021. This represented a 2.2% decrease compared to the same period in 2020, as the COVID-19 pandemic only began to have a strong negative impact on traffic from mid-March onwards. When compared to the 2019 pre-crisis year, passenger numbers dropped by 70.8% in the first nine months of 2021. However, passenger traffic rebounded noticeably during the 9M 2021 reporting period, reaching around 45% of the pre-crisis level between June and September. Preliminary figures indicate that this trend also continued in October 2021, with passenger numbers soaring by 218% year-on-year to 3.4 million travelers, representing 53% of the level recorded in October 2019. The ongoing recovery was largely driven by holiday travel during the fall break in Germany. FRA's cargo throughput, comprising air freight and airmail, advanced by 24.3% year-on-year to 1.7 million metric tons in the first nine months of 2021. Thus, cargo traffic gained 8.6% compared to the same period in 2019. Across the group, the airports in Freeport's international portfolio also recorded a noticeable recovery in passenger traffic in the first nine months of 2021, versus the same period last year. In comparison to pre-crisis levels, Freeport's group airports worldwide still registered lower passenger figures. However, some group airports serving high-demand tourist destinations such as the Greek airports or Antalya Airport on the Turkish Riviera saw traffic rebound to over 50% of pre-crisis levels. During the summer holiday season, these gateways even reached nearly 80% of the respective passenger volume recorded in 2019 while exceeding more than 90% of pre-crisis levels according to the preliminary October 2021 figures. Outlook Freeport already revised its financial outlook upwards after conclusion of the first half of the current 2021 business year, thus taking into account the compensation payment of €159.8 million Euros granted to the company for maintaining operations at Frankfurt Airport during lockdown. In view of the ongoing traffic recovery, the Freeport Executive Board now expects FRA's passenger traffic for the full year 2021 to reach the upper area of the forecast range, between under 20 million to 25 million passengers. In view of the positive performance achieved in the first nine months of 2021 and the optimistic fourth quarter forecast, Freeport's Executive Board has raised its full year outlook slightly upward from the forecast given in the half-year interim report. Revenue is now expected to reach just over 2 billion euros previously, around 2 billion euros. 
Group EBITDA is forecast to range from approximately 650 million euros to just over 700 million euros, previously, between about 460 million euros to 610 million euros. Group EBIT is now expected to reach a range from around 200 million euros to just over 250 million euros, previously, EBIT was only generally expected to be in positive territory. The group result or net profit is now expected to be in positive territory, previously, slightly negative to slightly positive. The executive board will continue to propose that no dividend be paid out for the current financial year. The traffic outlook remains unchanged for the medium term. Freeport expects Frankfurt Airport's passenger traffic to reach the pre-crisis level by 2026 or by 2025 at the earliest. Traffic at Freeport's group airports worldwide is forecast to recover at a faster pace, rebounding to pre-crisis levels on average by 2023. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group, or you can read us, of course, in going to our news portal at etobernews.com or travelnews.online.